Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to Wednesday Read Alouds. Today we are reading The Little Ghost Who Lost Her Boo. This book is written by Elaine Bickle and illustrated by Raymond McGrath. There's the little ghost. Little ghost went out in the middle of the night and flew up to someone to give them a fright. She got in position, arms up, all prepared. Wait for it, lady, you're gonna get scared. There's the girl waiting by the fire. She opened her mouth, but her boo wasn't there. All that came out was a rush of cold air. I've lost my boo, I've lost my boo. Where has it gone? What do I do? Mama Ghost said, my poor little thing, oh, my poor little one, it looks as though your fright days are done. I'll find it, cried Little Ghost. Off she flew, looking and listening for her scary boo. Then she heard a noise in the dark, dark trees. Can that be my boo? Oh, let it be, please. Ooh. It wasn't a boo, but a hoo, 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 and down flew Owl. Oh, Owl, it's you. I wonder, can you help me? I'm looking for my boo. I'm sorry, little ghost, but I can't help you. I've been out all night and had a bait tasty bite or two. And while I was hunting, I didn't hear your boo. Would you like to borrow my hoo hoo hoo? Thank you, Owl. It's perfect for you, but it's not as scary as my ghostly boo. Far above came a sound from the trees. <gasps> That's my boo. It belongs to me. Do you think the boo is what's coming next? Let's see what noise it is. Coo, coo. It was not a boo, but a gentle coo. Hello, pigeon, I'm glad it's you. I wonder, can you help me? I'm looking for my boo. Coo, coo, coo. I'm sorry, little ghost, I can't help you. I woke up early to enjoy the starry view. And while I was looking, I didn't hear your boo. Would you like to borrow my gentle coo? Coo, coo. Thank you, pigeon. It's perfect for you, but it's just not as scary as my ghostly boo. As the first light of day began to show, a tiny ghost heard a rooster's crow. I wonder, can you help me? I'm looking for my boo. Do you think the rooster can help? Let's see. I'm sorry, little ghost, I can't help you. I've only got up as the day is really new. And I'm about to wake the world with my cock a doodle do. Why don't you join me? And you can try too. Cock a doodle do. Thank you, Rooster. It's perfect for you, but it's just not as scary as my ghostly boo. Little Ghost was sad as up and off she flew, heading for her home without her precious boo. She asked all her friends. She looked everywhere. She knew without a boo, there was no way she could scare. Then Little Ghost heard what sounded like a boo. She flew a little closer. Then she knew it was a, you see what animal this is? She knew it was a moo. Moo. 
Oh, hello, cow. Of course it's you. I wonder, can you help me? I'm looking for my boo. I'm sorry, little ghost, but I can't help you. After being milked, I found some grass to chew, but not once this morning have I heard your boo. Though I have heard something similar, why don't you try my moo? Moo, moo, moo. It's close. Oh, it's close, said little ghost, but it just won't do. Even though it's similar and it's perfect for you, it's just not as scary as my ghostly boo. So little ghost went home, as sad as can be. Then she looked up, and what did she see? She saw the reader. Yes, she saw you. Can you help the ghost find her boo? Do you think you can? Can you help? Come on now, it's up to you. Let me hear you shout boo. Can you do it? Can you shout boo? Ready? <gasps> boo! Boo! Yes, that's it! That will do. That is such a scary boo. You did it! You find it! High five! Thank you. And that wonderful scary boo. Away, away, that little ghost flew. And you see? There she is, and she's finally said, boo, and she got it from you. <laughs> Good reading, everyone. That was great. I hope you're having a wonderful week, and I hope you all have your boos deep down inside you and ready to spook this week. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye. <laughs>